Because you know it's all about those apps. About those apps. No trouble. As some of you will know, I am currently on a 30 day challenge trying to use the BlackBerry Passport as my daily driver. And this is a challenge because I've predominantly been using iOS and Android for the past three to five years. Of course, the biggest hurdle with getting used to BlackBerry and BlackBerry OS X is the lack of apps when you compare it to the other two platforms, or even the other three platforms. But I actually found that getting hold of them wasn't that difficult, and the first step was sideloading. So this is sort of a brief tutorial on how to sideload apps onto your BlackBerry 10 device, but you only really need to download and install one, or sideload one. And here's how you do it. First of all, you have to go into your BlackBerry settings and make sure that the phone is switched into developer mode. Now, this will ask you to input a password for your device. So just make sure that it's one that's easy to remember, just for the sake of having one there. Then, you need Chrome browser installed on your Mac or Windows PC. Once you have that installed, you can search for an extension called BlackBerry Playbook Manager. You'll find it there, you'll install it, and then you'll see the little BlackBerry Playbook icon just to the right of your search and address field. You launch the app manager, and then you can input your settings for your actual device. And as long as it's connected to the same network, you can put your phone's IP address in, it'll recognize it, and then you're pretty much ready to go. You click on that device in your device list and then you can sideload apps onto your device straight through your Chrome browser. So there's no real software to install on your PC. It's not tricky, you don't need to plug anything in and it doesn't take very long at all. It's very, very simple and that surprised me. Because when I initially heard about sideloading, I thought this is gonna be really difficult, but the truth is it's not. Now all you need to do to get Android apps is to search for and install Snap. Now Snap is essentially a portal or a window into the Google Play Store, so any apps that are in the Play Store, you should be able to find in Snap. Once you've sideloaded that particular app onto your BlackBerry device, then you never need to sideload anything else ever again. The hard work is done within a few minutes and then you can relax and just install apps just as you want to. So I installed a few, I think I said in my comparison yesterday, I must have installed and tried about 10 to 20 different apps from Snap or different Android apps and a lot of them didn't work properly. But that's fine. I mean, I installed some of the ones that were most important to me because, I mean, we use GroupMe a lot for keeping in touch here at Phone Dog Media. It's a group messaging chat and it's not available on BlackBerry App World yet. So I installed that from Snap. I also installed some calendar apps, uh, Wonderlist, and a few others that I like to use all the time. And why I say that's fine is because it actually forced me to look for alternatives in the BlackBerry App World store. And I actually enjoyed that process. We get so used to using specific apps on our iOS and Android devices that we sometimes we're not aware of the great software that is available for Blackberries. And although it's clear there isn't as much of it, there is still some really good apps on Blackberry App World. And my first port of call was trying to find a decent Twitter client. And I downloaded uh, one called Black. B-L-A-Q, not black as in the color. It is a fantastic Twitter client. It's really easy to use. Use some gestures left and right to reveal options. You can tweet, see your mentions. It works with BBM and it works in your hub, which you can manage through there. So it's really easy to use. Now it does cost a couple of dollars or a couple of pounds, but it's easily worth it. I also tried Twitly, I think it's called. I, I That was the first one I actually downloaded, but that wasn't one that I really felt suited me and didn't really seem to fit the square screen perfectly. Of course, I downloaded WhatsApp because I still have friends across the world who use that for messaging all the time, and so sadly I have to have that installed as much as I hate it. I also, on one of our reader's recommendations, I downloaded iGram, which is an Instagram client for BlackBerry, and it works really well. You can view your feed of all the people that you're following, you can see your profile, everything that you can do with the regular Instagram app you can do with iGran. And yeah, it still looks a bit odd on the square screen, but I'm hoping that they'll optimize that soon, but it's it's a decent app. And also installed AccuWeather because it's got a nice little widget to go on your home screen that shows you the weather where you are all the time. I've also managed my apps and put them into folders that meet my personal needs group things together, try not to have too many different home screens to slide through. 
And it's still a work in progress. I don't think I've found all the apps that I really want yet, but I've got all the core ones. So I've got a good Twitter client, I've got Instagram, I've got WhatsApp, I've got GroupMe. The one I really don't have is Hangouts, and that's because there really isn't a good Hangouts app for BlackBerry. The Google Talk app that comes with the phone is terrible. It doesn't update in real time, doesn't show me images. And it's just horrible to use, so I've really struggled with Hangouts. That's been it so far. I'll keep looking. If you've got any app recommendations, of course, don't forget to use the hashtag on Twitter. Uh, hashtag Passport Challenge. You can suggest apps, ask me questions, give me advice. If you're a BlackBerry fan, if you're addicted to BlackBerry and you know it really well, please feel free to give me some hints and tips. As much as I'm kind of used to the OS, having used it for a few weeks now for my review, and then again for this week for this challenge, it's still nice to hear from people who live and breathe this stuff and know it inside out. So give me some tips, let me know what I should focus in on my next video and see if I can bring some more light to BlackBerry OS X and the Passport. But that's it for this video. I'm at PhoneDog underscore Cam on Twitter. Follow me on there, give me your suggestions, comments, also use the comments down below. And I will see you again soon. Because you know it's all about those apps, about those apps. No trouble.